In this video, you are going to learn how you can connect your Shopify store to Facebook Pixel using Google Tag Manager. Hi, this is Nasim from nasimrezer.com and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork. If you need my assist, don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the resource link out there. Let's back to this topic. This is our Shopify store and you can see our extension say uh, the Facebook pixel is not connected with this website okay so we are going to install facebook pixel using google tag manager first of all you need to open google tag manager account and container and i believe it's pretty simple you can easily do that just simply log in your gmail and go to tagmanager.google.com and open account and you will get a container like this okay so i believe you can do that and when your container will ready you can see if you click on this gtm id then you will get this code okay so this is actually google tag manager code we need to implement this code under our website backend and within the head tag okay simply just copy this code and you need to go to the shopify backend so if i want to go to the shopify website backend you will get a view like this so this is the dashboard of the shopify backend and when you visit online stores and then shopify theme so it's actually under the sales channel okay so we need to find the theme.liquid code so for that we need to click on three dot menu and click on edit code when you click on edit code you will see all the code are here and here is theme dot liquid and you can see my google tag manager code is here but you won't see your tag manager code okay so you just simply copy this code and you need to paste here okay so you can see it's here okay so when you have done it's under the head tag you need to save it and you can see my tag manager is connected and when your tag manager will connect successfully you can check it by refreshing your website and add the extension in your google chrome browser which is called google tag assistant legacy and you can see the tag manager are showing here so voice is pretty good so our first step is complete google tag manager account connected to our shopify store now we need to connect facebook pixel to our google tag manager account for this we need to make tag okay so just hit the new on the tag section and you can see just search here Facebook and you can see there is no Facebook here but here is the option which is discover more tag type in the community templates gallery just hit on there and it's loading and we will get many templates from their community so just search here facebook right now you can see few facebook tem template are showing but we want to connect this one facebook pixel by facebook archive okay so this is actually i recommend you it's verified so just simply hit the add to workspace and then click on add and then it will add to our container and now it's look like this so if i close it and you can see if i go on the new again and click here and search facebook now it's showing here voice is pretty good right just select here and you can see we need to add 
Facebook pixels here. So we just copy our Facebook pixel code. For example, this is my pixel code. Okay. So you can of course use your pixel code that you will get on the event manager and the overview. Okay. So pixel right now called data set. Don't worry that just copy and paste here. Okay. And then we need to set a trigger. So trigger I want to choose all pages because this is the basic connection to Facebook pixel and our website. So if I choose the all pages and simply use the pixel code and the standard event is page view this one is the custom event i will show you how to set up that from my next couple of video and if you want to see that you can subscribe to my channel okay so this is actually the basic connection so that's why i want to keep this page view and all pages and when you have done just hit the save button and you can give any name here okay so i just want to use facebook and base basic connection so it's a facebook basic i just want to keep this name and save it and when i you have done just simply hit the button which is submit and then publish this version okay but i i don't want to do that so if you refresh your page you can see this is not showing because we didn't publish this version but it's possible to check out without publishing that version just go to preview and copy this link and paste on the google tag assistant box and connect the google tag assistant and when this website is reloaded you will see the pixel code is here and now it's showing the page view is green signal so that's mean we are successfully done to set up facebook pixel to our brand new shopify store using google tag manager so that's it I hope uh, if you have any confusion you can comment to this video and don't forget to submit and publish this version otherwise it will not work okay so it will start working when you publish so that's it guys that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel. My name is Nasim and I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.